Hi friends, welcome back to Mule 4 series of learning videos. I am Shiva Tankamani, an Integration Technical Architect. In the past several videos, we have been taking a look at uh, different integration design patterns and uh, uh, the recurring problems that we often see in uh, while developing an API and uh, some simple solutions uh, on addressing those problems. So by now, we slowly start to understand and feel that uh, uh, an effective API doesn't mean that we have to use uh, uh, sophisticated infrastructure and uh, costly and expensively licensed uh, integration platform. So it's not needed. So these uh, design patterns in the past videos, we have been uh, constructing different solutions. They prove that uh, uh, the sophisticated API would mean that following a simple design, an effective design and architecture by using these uh, uh, integration design patterns and solutions and uh, uh, correctly applying the solutions in the right scenario at the right time will prove API to be great and uh, it will be running without any issues while you are uh, uh, designing and developing and deploying it into the production environment. In this short video we are going to see the difference between a data type channel versus uh, content based routing. As you know, uh, these both uh, integration design patterns are uh, trying to address uh, some common problems which uh, we often see in uh, integration platforms. So there are some similarities and uh, differences between data type channel and uh, content based routing. And first we see the, uh, we will see um, what similarity and what kind of problem uh, these two design patterns are trying to address. So the problem statement is uh, you have uh, uh, one application or uh, uh, one single receiver where you are getting the data but uh, um, the channel is giving different types of data and uh, you might need to process them differently based on the uh, type of data. So that's what is the uh, problem uh, because you need to determine once uh, the message is received uh, into an API and only then you can decide uh, and process them accordingly. So that's the problem and the solution is uh, uh, by using routing, MuleSoft has the routing principle and uh, you can easily uh, take the data or content and then uh, process them by routing to the appropriate message flow uh, so that uh, uh, you process different message in a different uh, um, application principle. So uh, we, have, we also have some differences between a data type channel and the content based routing. The difference is the first one tries to identify the type of processing that we need to acquire based on the data type that's coming um, or the data type the input payload belongs to. And the second one is also routing and then taking the different processes uh, but however it's based on the data that's coming in. So the first one is data type, the second one is the data itself. So now we have created a, a simple Mule 4 flow and I have created uh, two different uh, flows. Uh, one for uh, data type channel and one for uh, content based routing. So um, both are same and technically we are using the same thing and in Mule we have a, a choice router. So we are going to use it and then decide uh, uh, how we are going to uh, validate the incoming data and then accordingly we are going to process. But it's only the subtle difference in the concept and the logic in which uh, uh, we are using this API and processing the data. So that's where the difference lies. So it's only the techniques and as I said it's not the uh, uh, sophisticated components or the techniques that we are uh, trying to learn something new. It's only uh, applying what we already know in a different way to achieve the specific requirements. So in both we are using this choice router and we have uh, uh, two uh, HTTP listeners. And uh, so we, I'm not going to explain too much into uh, retrieving the data and processing it, pushing it into the JMS queue or uh, inserting the data into the database that you can assume. But uh, we are only going to see the subtle difference between uh, uh, the data type channel and the content based routing. So let's see the use case. So we will assume that we have an uh, online uh, order system and uh, uh, so we have two different type of uh, um, listeners that we have introduced 
and we have one uh, listener for uh, looking at uh, uh, what kind of uh, entity that we are receiving and then processing accordingly for example we have three kinds of data one is a product one is inventory another one is price so when the data contains product details um, the uh, flow should uh, uh, work in such a way that uh, it goes and updates the product name and when the inventory is uh, received and you are going to either uh, uh, increase or decrease the inventory based on the uh, given skew and the last one is the price so when the um, payload contains price you are going to update the uh, price of the incoming skew so but uh, the the only uh, challenge that we are facing is we will assume that we only have uh, um, only one api for all the three operations but uh, we are not going to make complicated like uh, we will not be introducing uh, multiple operations like how we do it in uh, 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 web services but we are going to use the same resource path in three different ways based on the incoming uh, data type let's see how we are achieving this so in the first uh, uh, technique we are extracting or we are expecting some specific tag that identifies the data type of the incoming payload so if the product tag is available we are going to assume that we are going to update the product details and if the inventory tag is available or inventory field is available we are going to update the inventory of the SKU and if the price details are available in the payload you are going to assume that you are going to update the uh, rate of the specific product so that's what we are going to do in the data type channel let's see how this works so this is the data type channel we created and uh, as soon as the payload is received we are we have a, a choice router but let's see how uh, we are applying the concept so we are checking uh, is empty i mean we are checking the not if it's not empty of uh, payload dot price which means that payload dot price uh, contains some valid value which means uh, we assume that the incoming payload contains uh, price field so and hence we assume that uh, uh, the intention is to update the uh, uh, price of the incoming skew and the next one is uh, we are checking if it is not empty of inventory tag so or inventory field if this field is available in the payload we are assuming that uh, we are going to update the uh, skew inventory and otherwise i mean if these first two conditions are uh, not satisfied we are going to assume the third one which is uh, the product details so uh, that's uh, that's the um, criteria that we are going to uh, use so how do we do that so you can simply drag and drop uh, a choice let me show you the demo and then uh, then i can explain this so you have http listener and uh, you drag and drop uh, choice router and it automatically gives you two different paths when and uh, otherwise so if the condition is true it executes this scope and uh, otherwise by default it executes this one but you can introduce uh, uh, the other components by simply uh, dragging and dropping in between in between choice and the existing scopes then it creates a new one so this is how we need to create and it's very simple and then double click on the when and here is the expression where you can give the expressions that you want to satisfy if this uh, expression is satisfied and true it will execute whatever uh, components we we give inside that scope so it's very simple to use choice router and uh, so that's what we have seen here so let's uh, execute these uh, uh, products and then see how it behaves so i have the data type channel so the first one is the data type channel this uh, listener is a data type channel so that's what we are uh, executing and the first one we will take a product let's copy this that is what is already available here and you have a product field when you run there is a transformation that shows uh, product details updated and then we will choose inventory we will copy this uh, json we'll put it here and uh, let's run this 
now it says inventory updated inventory received and then it's giving uh, details so he, this is done based on the presence of inventory field in the payload so the only thing is uh, we are using the same api for multiple purpose based on the incoming data type and we will use price we will copy this and then we will put here so here we have a, a field called price that is present so we will assume that it's going to update the price of this queue let's run this so we have a different uh, data transformation that says uh, price details updated so this is about the data type channel and now let's see uh, how uh, uh, or uh, what use case uh, uh, we are going to apply for content based routing so the content based routing is based on uh, uh, its uh, content based routing is usually having same data type for uh, all uh, combinations but however you are going to make uh, some differences based on the uh, specific content for example if the location belongs to mumbai and you are going to apply certain percentage of discount and certain percentage of uh, delivery charges and if the location is chennai you are going to have different uh, amount of discount and then you will have completely different amount of uh, delivery charges so uh, let's uh, go to this uh, content based routing and see what we are doing so we have the same choice router and when you click on this we are checking the value of the field we have already experienced uh, uh, different scenarios on using this so you simply access the field and then say if this is equal to some specific predefined value uh, here we have uh, um, the concept of applying 45 percent discount for uh, uh, chennai but however uh, the delivery charge is uh, 100 and when we use the other one say it is uh, mumbai then you are going to give only 20 percent discount but uh, um, the delivery charge is very less so that's how you are going to distinguish between uh, um, operations based on the location that's coming in the incoming payload let's try this so now let's see uh, let's update the resource path like a content based routing and we will give uh, first payload with location mumbai and we say order received and the user type is gold and hence you are giving different uh, amount of discount and delivery charges and uh, we are giving the second one where the location is chennai and uh, we are taking different uh, or we are applying different business principles or business rules based on the content so um, so these are the two ways in which you can uh, decide the content type as well as the content and then take decisions based on the outcome so that's about it in this video and i know this is a very short video and very simple concept uh, um, uh, so I uh, before uh, uh, publishing this video I really thought whether I should publish it or not because uh, the concept that I, I was trying to explain is very simple and known to everybody but still I went ahead and uh, published this video because uh, uh, sometimes even simple concepts uh, or we, we might we may be doing all these activities for three four years but without knowing uh, this is the data type channel and this is the content based routing without realizing the integration design patterns you would have been uh, doing this so uh, it's always better to know what we are doing and understand these uh, design principles and different integration design patterns that will always come handy and even in the uh, interviews when you are attending the interviews uh, uh, you can still uh, answer these questions confidently so um, hope uh, these videos are helpful to you and if you feel so please hit thumbs up button and uh, subscribe my videos soon i will come up with more interesting topics thanks for watching bye